welcome to my YouTube video. In this video I'm going to demonstrate how to bind off in pattern. This is a companion video to another one that I did on how to cast on in pattern and I'll put a link to that up in this corner. So this swatch I worked in stockinette and when I got up to the top I bound off across the top going from this side to this side knitwise with the standard bind off. In this swatch I worked up to the last wrong side row and then I bound off this way with the standard bind off. So you can see they look very different. One of the first things that we can notice is that the chain edge of the bind off comes to the side that you're binding off on. So if you're binding off knitwise they're going to face the side that you're binding off on. For example, I bound off on the reverse stockinette stitch side here so the cable, the chain look of the bind off is facing this side of the fabric and we get the pearl bump side facing this way. So what if you want to do that intentionally? For example, you want to bind off in pattern. These are two swatches of 2 by 2 ribbing this one was bound off just straight across the top with the standard bind off. This one I bound off two knitwise, two purlwise, two knitwise, purlwise, etc. Look at the difference. They were also cast on in pattern, which you can see that other video for that. Isn't that a huge difference? So let me show you how to do this. Okay, so I just have this little sample um, that I just put on my needle so I can show you how to bind off knitwise versus purlwise. So our first two stitches here we can see are two columns of knits. So we're going to knit one and then we're going to knit one and we'll pull the first over the second. This is the standard bind off. Now we see that we have a purl. So we're going to purl and bind off we see we have another purl so we're going to purl bind off there's a knit now what would you do for seed stitch hmm you would knit above the purls and purl above the knits and I have a whole video on how to bind off in pattern in seed stitch which I will link up here in the corner as well but we're going to look at why you would want to do this for ribbing and how what a difference it makes. It's amazing. So easy to do this. Okay, so we just bound off in pattern and this has not been blocked or anything. So we can see how it retains the stretchiness of the ribbing versus flaring out as in our other swatch. Here's our other two samples. This one was knit bound off in pattern. This is just bound straight off. So we can see on this one how it retains the rib. This tends to flare out. It pushes out. And on the other side you get this edge. On this one, because we bound off in pattern, guess what? Both sides look exactly the same and it has that same stretchability all the way across. Isn't that lovely? Huge difference! Huge, huge difference! If you enjoy my videos be sure to give me a thumbs up. Hit the share button, share it with your friends and subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you back here for some more. Happy knitting!